best life. Please welcome Rosalind Kahn. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Rosalind Kahn with Chow Entertainment, living your best life. Today, we are super excited to have with us Mr. Nate Moran, all the way from New York. Let me just have Nate say a quick hello, and I'll give you a little history of Nate and where he's come from and what he's all about. Nate, say hello to our audience here for us. What's going on? Hello, everybody. How you doing? It's an honor to be on your show, Ross, and thank you very much. And just, I'm, I'm very excited. You know, I'm very excited for this. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Fantastic. It's truly an honor and pleasure to have you here. Ladies and gentlemen, get your pens and pencils down. This gentleman, Nate Moran, grew up in Richmond, Virginia, and he lived in New York for 24 years. This guy has danced all the way around the world. He also has been a veteran in the Army, serving and helping our people out. And unfortunately, when he came back, he was homeless for over two years. But he started a new program, and it's called Never Give Up and Always Smile. He's an author. He's an actor. Let's give it up to Mr. Nate Moran. All righty. How you doing, Nate? Hey, what's going on? How you doing again, everybody? It's, like I said, thank you very much for this opportunity. And I'm honored to be here, you know. You know, one of the things that I really like about you is you've been part of our military and in, in the fierce times that we're having right now, at the time when you joined, what was one of the reasons that you decided to, to join up and, and serve our country? What motivated you to do that? You know, to be honest with you, it's a family. Because, you know, once the family's in, you know, I grew up as a kid playing with soldier men. My uncle's in Air Force and Army. And so it was like a family thing. It was like the men thing that we did. And it was it was part of, the, I guess, growing up, being around the family military. And I wanted to serve for the country. Then I was in GROTC Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps in high school. So I kept going with it until I got in. You know, it was... It made a man of me, and I'm, I'm thankful. I never regret any minute or any time, any anything but being in the military. Honestly, it's, it show it's, it's respect. I salute all my veterans, from National Guard to Army to Marines, whatever. We veteran, we families for life. Thank you so much. You know, my father was a member of the Merchant Marines, and the Army is in is my my heart and my passion as well. There's a lady we're featuring this week who's part of the Navy, and you'll be seeing her on her show tomorrow. But I just want to say thank you for your service and for all our people in, in this service for everything they do because they help make our, our country safe and secure. Now, going back to your, your days in the Army, was there any challenges that you faced, and what were some of the lessons that you learned from that? I learned a lot on basic training wakes everybody up. <laughs> That was a challenging thing coming when you first go on basic training and you know, you know, getting used to somebody hollering at you and you got your mama and daddy around to, to protect you. It was it was a whole different vibe. But then it made a man either they say they make you or break you, and it made a man out of you and it give you. You know, my grandmother raised me, and she always said you treat people will be treated, and I always had that respect as far as respect for people. But it's a whole different respect that the military gave you. You know, it also showed that. I gained a lot of unity because in the military, all you see is green. There's no nationality, no color, no nothing, you know, no one. So it's, yeah, I learned a lot of unity. I gained unity. And that's why I have so much respect for the world and for everybody, you know. If for you, if you're on my Facebook, you know, I always say never give up and I always say it's respect because I have respect for each and everybody, whether you're rich, poor, or whatever, as long as you're a human being, we all one. So military gain, I gained a lot because of that from the military and learn how to respect each other as one. Those sound like some really important lessons in today's world. We all could certainly learn some respect in our world. So tell me, what are some of the things that you've done to improve your community? Because I know community is really important to you. What are some of the strides that you've made on, on that front? Yeah, what's happening with me, um, I do my interpretive dance off of all music and I perform and I do a lot of interviews, like this, this year, like I said, I'm on it. And I try to inspire the people to never give up, you know, because I was a homeless veteran 14 years ago for two years. You know, I've I seen the other side of that world. You know, I've been to the other side with Mercedes Benz and few bank accounts and I had money and I've been to the side where I had not even a penny in my pocket. And my heart is, 
just to give back to the world because I'm thankful, first of all, to be here because I almost got killed like several times in those streets in New York. So now my thing, I do anything for the community, anything to, that people know, no matter what you go through, you can come out of it, you know. Uh, so I, I work with the youth also out in Pennsylvania, um, after school program through Linda Vega, Costa and Lupa. I, I give back to kids. Uh, anytime somebody wants me to do anything for the community, I try my best. Even my schedule is not tight. I, mean, I got to be there because, you know, the community is is the world. You know, if everybody join together, we all can grow. So I do anything to to make the community. The old time and told me, he said, um, when they read your eulogy, what they want to say. They said, um, are you going to do, uh, what are they going to say about you when you, when it's your eulogy? And funny guy, good guy, bad guy, or a guy that made a difference. And I want to be one of those guys that they say made a difference or try and make a difference because that's what we all supposed to look out for each other as one. Wow. I know you certainly make a, a big difference in a lot of people's lives. You, you hit a tender spot when you were talking about kids. The gentleman across from you who's doing the show has a wonderful kid whose name is Tiberius. And I'd like you to share one of your most tender stories about an impact that you've made on a child's life. Wow. You know what's crazy? Um, like I said, I work with the youth after school program, so it's like unfortunate kids and stuff like that. It doesn't matter. Uh, and when they came to me, somebody came to me, you know, because I do mime and I do dancing. And someone, one of the, the people that works there to the organization came to me and said, you know what, let me tell you something what you did. And one of the kids, one of the young, young youth, the fathers are like mechanics and, you know, they macho. And because I work with them as far as dance and even, you know, tell them they can be whatever they want to become. Now one of them has started to take up dance because of me. Uh, and then I got a few of them tell me that, matter of fact, I just did a show for them for, who was it, um, Harrison Martin Middle School for Black History Month. And when I finished performing, you know, one of the eighth graders, you know, came to me and said, I want to dance like you one day, you know. And I tell them, no, I'll be better, you know. Uh, you know, they, they, the impact of that kid, it's like a give and take thing. And I get impacted the same way they get impacted because I have one come to me and say they should want to be an FBI agent. And I just tell them, just follow your dreams. You know, you're going to go through your bumps in the road because everybody does it. We're still going to go through bumps no matter if you're rich, famous, or whatever. You're going to have some licks. But just make sure you stay focused and keep your dreams and, you know, go through that pothole. Hit that pothole and still keep going, you know, because that's how the dream, your blessing is behind that door, you know, and that's what I look at it myself because, I, like I said, I see myself dirty, stinking, and smelling. And now I'm here on your show and I'm, I done did PBS and I done been auditioned for the Apollo um, that's my number in the back. Uh, you know, Merton got talent. And as a matter of fact, I just performed o October 28th and 29th in London for Miss Universal Empire event. And it was viewed by 47,000 people. And, you know, if I never pushed for my dreams, I never came through. So, you know, I try to use all those things that I'm doing and all my accomplishments to try to inspire people to, no matter what you go through, you can come out of it. You just keep going because there's a, there's a blessing behind that door after you go through that storm. Powerful words, powerful words. You know, you talk about inspiring those kids. I was talking to my kids today. I teach a class on public speaking. And we we're talking about the value of speaking. And I went through all the the, the commodities of things that they could do with those those skills, whether it be in a court or talking up your parents, you know, can't do this or can't do that. And with the seven different things, they, they saw the importance of what it's all about. And so you and I are, are connected in the soul. I really love the kids. I love what the future is. I teach in an inner city school. Um, John Freeman High School in Los Angeles. It's not the best neighborhood, but I want to make a change in people's lives. And I'm glad to know that I'm not alone on this path, that we're working together here. Now, tell me something. You've, you've mentioned about the homeless. What is it that you specifically can, can advise to our countrymen of how can we help our homeless veterans? What advice can you give around that, that arena? You know, with that, you know, uh... First, start looking down on people. You never know. Everybody got a story. You know, we all have a story. So we don't know what put them in a situation because I was out there for two years. So, you know, I even had hung out with people who were Wall Street, you know, that would end up homeless. You know, what, I, what I'm what i thinking, you know, what I can, for far as a person should do for the homeless, just, you know, a lot of time I, I pray. I believe in the Lord. But, so I pray for them. And sometimes some of them out there, yeah, some of them out there on a gimmick, some of them someone really true that's out there that want to come out 
you know, I did an event in City Hall in New York. And when I was performing, then they asked me to tell my story. And some homeless people was out there and it was outdoor, it was freezing, freezing. But we was out doing the event. And one of the homeless guys came to me and, and, and said, Yo, man, you know, I want to come out these streets. And, you know, and I inspired him because, you know, I was I was just where he was at, you know, there, you know, the whole thing. And like I said, just grab hold of him and, and try to inspire them and, and pray for them. And, you know, you can feel the hearts. You know, I always tell people that you, the key to a person's heart really is in their eyes and their soul, and you can feel it, you know. So you'll feel the pain and just get that blessing. You know, you just, you know, if I ever have get financially stable, that's one of my things I would love to put up some homeless houses and also put up a building for the arts. It's in my book, The Mind Speaks, for those who, you know, is out there. But I would love to do that because some people really want to come out. Some people want to stay because they're comfortable, you know, but just still always keep a prayer for them. And I think that'd be the best thing into as much as you can. Somebody pray for me, you know, somebody pray for me. I know, because I know, I, like I said, I see death several times up here. And I'm thankful to be here. That is, that is true. You know, we've, we've got to pray for people and you can see it in people's eyes. And you said an important thing is they've got to ask to go ahead and come out. I was on a trip to Hawaii and a lady was helping kids in the drug trafficking world and they can never force a person to come. But as soon as they went ahead and asked that question is I need help, they could go ahead and do that. And I hope someone out there who's listening to the show will realize there are people who need your help, but you got to wait until they're ready to go ahead and ask that question. So we're, we're coming up almost to the end here and we're, we're celebrating African American History Month. And I was wondering if, if you were our, our featured speaker of the month to go ahead and hit that story what would you say about the importance of, of African-American History Month that's, that's coming up to a close real down and, and soon? Well, um, you know, to me, every every day is history. Um, yeah, as far as Black History Month, you know, it's, it's a powerful month. You know, a lot of people, I, I learn something every year about, about some stuff that was invented from, you know, from African Black people, you know, uh, you know, I, I just I wish I had more time because I can really go into it. But what I'm just saying is, that, you know, it's I'm, I'm glad they do have Black History Month to show the stuff that, that we've done. You know, uh, like I said, I, I believe in I'm into all nationalities. I love everybody, so I think everybody, every nationality, is part of our history, and uh, I'm thankful for all the black things that Black people have we have done. And um, I, people should know about it because you do hear about the bad stuff, you know. So why not give us a month for the good stuff, you know? And then every day is Black History Month. Every day is History Month. Every day you make the history. Every day you wake up is is, is another part of something that you put into society, you know. So, you know, I'm glad that they do celebrate it, though. Honestly, you know, some people don't, but I think I'm glad we do because yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's out there. Even I found out, you know, the people who invented the toilet paper roll and the lady who invented, you know, the stuff for the feminine for the women, you know, was black, you know, and I learned that this time, you know, so, you know, it's, and I'm an old, holy cat. I ain't going to tell my age. I don't want to make nobody hair fall off. But, <laughs> but you know, it's it's good that they do this, though. And I'm, I'm thankful that people can still get aware of, be aware of all the stuff that was invented by black people, you know. Like I say, every day is history for everybody, and every nationality should be treated equal all across the board. That's where I, I look at you, you. you hit the point on the nail, and that is, that is so exactly true. It's truly been an honor and a privilege, and I want people to follow you, because I know that you've been on PBS three times, that your, your book is out there. It's done some amazing, incredible things. And how can people get a hold of you? Where can they go to find you out? And my website is natedemime.com, Nate, N-A-T-E-T-H-E-M-I-M-E.com. That's my website. I got all my links on it. My Facebook is Nate Moran. I got two pages for Nate Moran, but one of my fan page, I don't use it that much. But the Nate Moran, if you see a picture of most time, just my, my regular face and then a mind behind it, that's the face, the face you can find me. I also even got TikTok, it's Nate Demime. 
And my Instagram is Nate Demond, but everything is Nate Demond. And my YouTube is Real School One. But once all my links again, it's on my website, natedemond.com, and they can find me. And I just want to say hello, you know. Just and my my motto, and I'm gonna say this before we leave, is like never give up, no matter what you go through. And always trying to find a minute, just a day in the day, your day, just to find a reason to smile, you know, and it'll make you go through no matter what, you know. Because like I said, we all have stories. We do have adventures and we do have ups and downs because we're human, we're going to do that. We just don't never give up. I do, yeah. uh, I perform for all occasions, so in case anybody want to, yeah, I do mime off of all music from gospel to R&B to rap and even country western i did tennessee whiskey i performed tennessee whiskey you know so whenever any event that you want me to perform i bring mine i love doing mine and i bring it to life i like bringing music to life because i was brought back to life so why not take my art and bring the music to life so people can look at it differently fantastic well i want to give a huge shout out to your promoter here lena shockley beautiful person you know uh she's right here she's right here she you know uh, when every time she even just give me a like on my page, it, it makes me smile. She's an amazing person, Lena. Lena, that's she's like I'm gonna say I'm I didn't want, it. but that's who's my future agent, you know. So anybody they can reach out to her. They, if they can't get to me, get to her, and she can get to me, you know. Yeah, Lena, that's a powerful and amazing person. And I'm fantastic. So this is Rosalind with Chow Entertainment, living your best life always bringing you the superstars every Tuesday at 11 a.m. to 11.30 on KXLA. You can find me, Rosalind Khan. The, the name is down there on all social media. And it's a show to follow. God only knows who's coming up next week. Gratitude beyond words and namaste. Thank you. Thank you for your interest in InFlight USA and our newest publication, Biz Avjets USA. We serve general and business aviation throughout the U.S., for more information on submitting articles or advertising in our publications, visit inflightusa.com. Thank you. Alzheimer's and I remember we were all in the hospital room and for like 10 seconds she recognized who we were and then it was gone so it's like a thief he's taking away memories and, um, who you are as a person over five and a half million Americans have Alzheimer's that number may double by 2050 for more information visit rightfocus.org Hi, everybody. My name is Rosalind Khan. We're with the wonderful Will Williams at Bling Blingy's Customer Appreciation. Will, I understand you're a model here with Miss Bling Blingy. Tell me, how'd you get started in this wonderful world? Well, my sister just approached me one day and said, well, would you come out and model some of my clothing line? I've started my own clothing line. I already have my jewelry. And she asked me to come out and, you know, just give her a hand. And how's the experience been? Is it everything you always thought it would be like in, in the world of modeling? It's busy. It's very, 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 very busy. Um, a lot of fun though. Um, a lot of, you know, you get a chance to see what happens behind the scenes, work with people and, you know, just enjoy overall. That is, that is great. If there are something people didn't know about the world of modeling, what would you say would be the big surprise that most people don't know about? the long hours that you go into it so much preparation just for that perfect shot just to make sure that everything is good and then the amount of time it takes to stay in shape for those things as well too it's a lot of work that goes into it but it's how, rewarding how many hours a day do you spend actually working out and getting ready for that oh gosh uh i work out about six days a week and so that can average anywhere between a couple hours to a few moments just depending on what i can do and various different types of workouts 
there was advice that you would give to people in the world, the one last thing of today was your last day, what would be the most important thing that you'd like them to know? Live your best life. Um, you know, seize those moments, make sure you get out there and, you know, get after it. Senior Care Authority is a one-stop solution for helping you locate senior living options. We understand the care, the costs, and the safety records of hundreds of communities, from assisted living and memory care to independent living and even skilled nursing. We help families cut through the complexity to make courageous, informed decisions under difficult circumstances. Hey, are you looking to get blinged out? Well, look no further. Boss Lady Bling Blingy have all the bling you need. You can find us online at Lady Blingy 4 on IG or Lady Blingy on Facebook or www.BossLadyBlingBlingy here in sunny San Diego at 2031 Commercial Street, San Diego, California. Call us at 619-617-4586. Biz Abjets USA Magazine is a new publication to the business aviation industry. And business aviation is a growing and thriving industry. We plan to bring you all the latest trends and news. We also plan to bring you new information about new airframes, systems, and interiors to market. Feel free to visit bizabjetsusa.com. Central Florida has provided education, independent life skills, and job training to thousands of Central Floridians who live with blindness or any degree of vision loss. Whether it's picking out clothes in the morning or just moving around your community and serving Orange, Seminole, and Osceola counties, contact White House Central Florida at 407 898 2483 or visit them online at lighthousecfl.org. Good morning, this is Dave D. Smith. I'm with Banner Printing Company. Uh, we're a printing brokerage. We produce, provide books, letterheads, envelopes, laser checks, accounts payable or payroll. And we provide uh, promotional products, things like jackets, shirts with your logo on it, signs for the sides of trucks, and banners uh, of any kind. Hi, this is Rosalind from Chow Entertainment KXLA. We are here today with the beautiful Esma at the Customer Appreciation for Lady Blingy. So tell me, how did it all get started for you in the world of, of modeling? So everything uh, started uh, about a few years ago, two years ago, I'm gonna say. I was invited to do a photo shoot with a makeup artist. Her name is Isabel. So thanks to Isabel, I am here today. Now, what is it really like being a model? I've heard sometimes people say it's really hard, sometimes people say it's long, but what has been your experience as a model? As a model, I've been working with very passionate people that love what they do. This is why I work with them, because I like to work with people that are passionate and they put everything they got in themselves to make this beautiful. Fantastic. What is one of the most memorable photo shoots that you've ever had? I had this photo shoot in Riverside. It was with, uh, it was with Miss Lady Blingy, uh -huh. and it was a few other models, very, very wonderful models that I got to learn from them. And that was one of like the best photo shoots I ever had. What was one of the best lessons that another model has shared with you? She taught me to, to breathe, to relax, and to just be myself. You know, that's, that's really what it's all about. You know, we started before we did this interview, we took some deep breathing exercises. I'm a college teacher in the classroom, that's my day job. And, um, you know, it's always about breathing. I always say it doesn't matter where you are. When you feel that tension, just take a few deep breaths and, and let it out, let it out. Because we all go through stress every day of our life. And if we can find ways to basically reclaim our calm and our, our energy, that's what it's really all about. What is your hope and your ambition in the world? My hope and ambition in this world is to make the world a better world. Not only for myself or my loved ones, but, but for everybody that lives here. We see people, you know, that have bad intentions or are trying to do things for themselves, forgetting that we're here together. This place is for us to share and enjoy while we're here. 
That is, that is so true. We all have a limited time on this planet and the more time that we can spend appreciating the time that we have and what we can do to make it a better place. Now, I want you to turn around and look at the, at the board here. Okay. And I want you to pick one statement that you think is the one that's most representative to you, that you connect with the most. Which is that one statement? It has to be this one, to love unconditionally. And when you think about that statement, what does to love unconditionally really mean to you? So, to love unconditionally means to love anybody or anything in general, regardless of their flaws, because flaws can be fixed. And when you love, whether it's nature, whether it's earth, humanity, whatever it could be, you nurture what it's, you know, around them as well. Showing the love that you have or appreciation or the value that they have changed those environments or people. That is fantastic. It's truly been a pleasure and honor speaking with you today. My name is Rosalind Khan. My station is called Living Your Best Life with Rosalind Khan. It's on KXLA Chow Entertainment, airing every Tuesday, 11A to 11.30. You can see it up in Oceanside here in San Diego, but otherwise we're in LA. However, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can see all the videos. And if you go to my webpage, which is the name Rosalind, R-O-S-A-L-Y-N-K-H-N, you can get a copy of my free book, which is Random acts of kindness are changing the world. Now, how might people follow you? What could they do? Um, I'm on Instagram. My Instagram is Esme Perley, which is E S M E P E R L E Y. And that's the only um, social network I have is Instagram. Well, they always say you gotta start with one and you master that and you go on to the rest. It's been a pleasure. Gratitude beyond words. Namaste. And thank you so much, Esme. My pleasure. Thank you. Take care. Nurse Actus Staffing is seeking experienced RN and LVNs. For more information, call us at 818-697-4484 or check us out on our website, nurseaccessstaffing.com. Nurse Access Staffing is seeking experienced RN and LVNs. For more information, call us at 818-697-4484 or check us out on our website, nurseaccessstaffing.com.